C is a wide subject in aviation, and we cannot discuss it all throughout today, but for simulation purposes and understanding purposes, we've chosen to take a few and cut it to a thread. Hi there. This is Ivan, the aviation guy from Muama Aero Innovations. Today we are going to talk about ATC. ATC is air traffic control, and these are the personnel that help the process of navigation through the air drop, both on ground and in the space of the terminal control area. How do ATC people or personnel execute their assignments? They execute their assignments after the pilots have failed their plan, or the pilots have stated their intentions flying inbound or outbound to the airdrop. Say, so for instance, if a pilot is doing intention flight, then he will let his intention known, be known by ATC. Okay. Say, so for instance, Fox at Jury and Town were parked on eight from one. Hello, ATC on ground. Fox at Jury and Town were parked on eight from one. Our intentions are for uh, five hours of endurance and one hour flight to the general flying area. Then ATC will come in with a QA and and let this pilot know the travel two nine is so for instance, the tax box will be the six run the two nine up, they look the back when ready. Okay, then after it is drawn and dispatch this person, and this person is on run at the two nine up for power checks. After the power checks, then this guy will come in again. Say Fox at Julia Tango is ready. Then you can broadcast one on the two nine up, that is tower to departure. Then this guy will go nine up on run at two nine up. Upon running up on one eight nine, then you call in for intentions. Tower, this is Fox of Julian Tango. I'm lining up one eight nine and number one. Then Tower will say, line up and either line up and wait, okay, or line up behind the traffic, behind, or you're clear to take off from eight two nine. Then climb the circuit altitude or climb the inbound altitude of that particular airdrop. That's how it is. It's the same. If it's a navigation point. Then ATC will look into the navigation plan or the flight plan of that particular pilot. It's upon the description of ATC to see if the pilot getting outbound is safer or coming inbound is safer. That is the goal of ATC. And on the other hand, the other purpose of ATC one is prevention of collusions, aircraft accidents, accidents, organizing and expediting traffic and at the same time providing information to pilots where necessary. Okay, now with ATC, we have three types of ATC. We have ground, we have dispatch, we have arrival, upload, and we have tow. So what is ground? Ground, these are the guys that lead uh, uh, traffic control on ground. Taxing, number one, pushback, number two, and letting the pilots align themselves to the respective ground where they are supposed to take off. This is ground. Say, so for instance, ground will let you know of the traffic or the tax way that you're supposed to tax. So your ground would say, tax, Fox Road, Delta, go off to the point point one way, one one. That's the whole of ground. Then, ground will always have its own frequency. And when a pilot gets into the cockpit, before he does anything, after all the entire process in the to avionics, then let no ground ground his intentions along ground so that he's given the right taxi way outbound to the airport. Then after aligning on aligning himself, then ground will dispatch this person to another frequency. Then this pilot will resort to tower and give in his intentions again. Tower we aligned on one eight two nine or runway one one number one. Then now we let you dispatch. Say for instance, dispatch, climb to this level. Okay, turn to the bearing of two two zero or three three zero or whatever. That's the goal of tower. Until you are outbound of that airport space, controlled airspace. That's, that's when tower will leave you. Send you out to center. Then we have approach. Okay. Approach it are the guys that lead aircraft inbound. So the pilot will call in approach. This is so and so requesting inbound for descending and landing and procedures. The tower will approach will say, okay, you're cleared inbound for landing procedures. The QNH is the and 
this will let the pilot know. And editing or approach will let the pilot know of his route and what runway he's supposed to land on. That's a rolling approach. Then we have tower. Tower will make sure that there is safety, the orderly flow of traffic along the vicinity of the air traffic. Bound departure. Who are on departure. They are, what, they, are, they are what they call seats. Seats is standard instrument departure. Rocks. Okay? Then uh, the pilot will file the flight plan, indicating the seats that is going to pass through. You know, the last seed arrive on departure. Before you end route to your journey, that last seed takes precedent of the name. Say, so for instance, if we have to talk about Hero, Lima, Alpha, x that's the Los Angeles International Airport. Say, so for instance, Holtz 9. Then you know you're going to file uh, seed now, then baby, then Holtz 9. That's the standard instrument departure for Los Angeles International Airport. And on approach, we use STARS. STARS stands for standard instrument arrival or standard terminal arrival route. Okay? Then the pilot will have filed a flight plan letting his intentions of where he is supposed to come in to be guided then to approach then approach will let you say for instance if we are talking about kilo lima alpha extra that's the Angeles international airport and we are talking about approach then we have the civil two the civil two star when the pilot reaches the civil two star he will let his intentions to approach be known that i'm intending to come into land then it's upon the description of the, up, uh, the approach air traffic control personnel to let him know if he's going to land on one way to go right or right way to go left. 